All right, on today's video, we are back at the range, and today we're going to do kind of a fun video. Um, if you haven't been living under a rock, you've probably seen a bunch of these squirrel gun challenge videos going on on YouTube. My good buddy CW from the CW Long Shot channel started that, and uh, there have been a lot of great channels and a lot of cool videos that have come out since this challenge started. So I don't have my first squirrel gun. My first gun was kind of shared between my dad and I. It was a Marlin Model 60, and that's what I grew up shooting. When I moved back from Cincinnati, I guess it was January of 02 is when I came home. I moved back out into the area where I grew up, so I had a lot of areas to hunt and a lot of places to shoot. And I went to a local gun store, and I bought this gun. Now, this gun looks a lot different now than it did then. What this gun originally was, was a Remington Model 597. Kind of a popular gun back then, but the Ruger 1022 has always kind of overshadowed that gun, and for good reason, it's a little bit more of a reliable gun. Now, I took a long break from shooting. You guys have heard me talk about that on my live streams and things like that. I moved back into town, and I just... Didn't get back into guns really until about 2009, 2010. Well, during that time, Archangel came out with this stock for this gun, and it kind of makes it look like an AR. And it's all plastic stock, plastic handguard and everything, but it does have an adjustable butt stock on it, just like an AR, which is pretty cool. Got a lot of great memories with this gun, and we're going to shoot some groups with it today. I know a lot of guys are just kind of talking about them, but they're not shooting them. We're actually going to shoot this today because well, I'm feeling a little nostalgic, and I don't even remember the last time I pulled the trigger on this. I don't even know if the scope zeroed. Now, also, when I first got this, it just had a cheap Simmons scope on it, and I'm going to guess probably around 2011 or 12. I put this Vortex Crossfire 2 on it, and this is a 3 to 9 by 40, I believe. Really nice scope, nice glass for a budget optic, and um, don't have any reason to take it off. This scope does everything I need it to do, and it's been on here for years now. I got a camera set up down there on a target. I'm going to get my rest out. Let's shoot some five-shot groups and talk a little bit more about this gun. All right, so when I bought this Remington 597, it came with a couple of these 10 round mags. Now they do make extended mags for these, I believe. I'm not sure if they're 25 round mags, 30 round mags. I do have a couple of them at home. I tend to not use them because they're not as reliable as what these little 10 rounders are. So I just tend to use these 10 round mags. All right, we're gonna shoot a group at that middle target. Like I said, I don't even know if this is zeroed. All right, so your safety on this is your typical cross bolt safety, whatever they call it, but uh, we got it on safe. I uh, forgot to mention the ammo I'm shooting today. This is uh, CCI mini mags, and these are the 22LR HP. Um, yeah, I've shot a lot of squirrels with this gun over the years. I don't do much hunting with it now, but, um, you know, it, it was always kind of my pest rifle when I was living out in the country before I moved back to town, and I've shot a lot of chipmunks with this, raccoons, squirrels, groundhogs, you name it. I've probably killed more things with this gun than I have any other gun in my collection. Well, I know I have. Let's shoot another group up at the top right target. That's twice in a week I've done that. Forgot to put my ears on. Thankfully it was just 22.
All right, maybe I only had four rounds in there. All right, we're gonna load up five more rounds. Now this is one of those guns that I would never part with just because of all the great memories that I do have with it. This was the first 22 my son ever shot. And uh, obviously, cause I had this gun long before he was born. One of the coolest moments with this gun was I shot the biggest coyote I've ever shot with this gun. It's been quite a few years ago now, but I uh, had one wander into my backyard one night and this was all I had to grab. I had a uh, light mounted on it at the time and I grabbed it and I got a perfect lung shot on that coyote. He ran about 50 yards and he died in the field behind my house. And uh, I always remember that because I would never coyote hunt with a 22, especially a 22 long rifle but I did get to shoot the biggest coyote I've ever shot with this gun. And that is probably one of the coolest stories I have with that, other than teaching my son how to shoot a rifle with this gun. All right, let's shoot another five shot group. We're gonna shoot that top left target. All right. All right, guys and girls, that's my squirrel gun video. I was already out here filming today. Got a new pistol for the channel. Got some update parts for the Beretta. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to bring the old 597 out today and shoot it and have some fun. Some fun video to make. Uh, fun videos to watch. I'll, uh, when I upload this, I'll try to uh, link some of the other guys' videos. There's a lot of people that are in this, so I'm sure I'm going to miss somebody, but uh, I know Edward Petty's got one out, CW, Gunwild, uh, Trigger Bar Philosopher, Boomstick, uh, JH586. I can go on and on. There are a lot of these videos out right now, and they're just fun to watch and hear the stories about the squirrel hunts they were on and things like that. And uh, I really want to thank CW for starting this challenge. This is one of them ones I was kind of excited to get involved in. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.